Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. You're watching Alpha Investments on the fancy version. Today we're going all the way back to Eldritch Moon. Moving forward, per the request of all the patrons, they like the fancy videos to not have the name of the box and the title. So that's what we're going to do. Very excited video today to do. Brought to you my patron that goes under the company name Lion Systems. And uh, before we get into it, I want to show you guys something. Eldritch Moon. Eldritch Moon. We have one of each. So in case anyone's curious, we got our normal one. And we got ourselves the original first printing pre-release type box with a stamp and everything versus a regular normal box during distribution. So kind of a fun little thing today. So first we're going to go with the original one here. We're going to open it up and I have not opened Eldritch Moon on this channel or for myself in general in years. Wow, feels weird, especially with the bottom of the box being, I'm so used to the bottom being solid. Such a weird feel, even the box feels different. All right, so sit back and relax, ladies and gentlemen. Ooh, these packs feel weird. And uh, enjoy the show, everybody. It's been a long time. We're probably not going to open Eldritch Moon again for another X amount of years. So if this is a product you liked or you missed out on, well, now's your time to open and uh, enjoy and watch the video. Boy, these feel weird. Weird, weird, weird. I can definitely tell they have the different printing. So, um, yes, refresh everyone's memory. This was the original very first product I ever did to my patrons for $79.99 shipped a long time ago. Oh, wait. That's three uncommons? A fourth uncommon? Or is it a flip? I forgot how this went. Splendid Reclamate. Whoa, this is a weird... Okay, so Splendid. I remember you. And our first is a beautiful looking foil for us. They are very subtle on the foiling. So I got to get used to this. That's right. This They had flip cards or connected cards or... Oh, man. These are really tough to open. Definitely can tell the printing difference. Oh, my goodness. Uh, yeah, this was a really... Eldritch Moon? I'm gonna be honest with everybody, wasn't this... Yeah, see, that's what I thought. It's like, you put the cards together. I forgot. That's what I remember now. And, um, ah, the prototype. <laughs> Let me give you guys a little quick story here. I did my Matt's box opening. I think it was about 150, 200 boxes on this set. And then I remember the second day I listed my copies on eBay. I put all, I think it was like, I put 90 copies of this. And one person bought all 90 copies for like $4 a card immediately. Uh, I hope they flipped it because I don't think that card's worth anything today, but I'll never forget that. I was that after that moment I did circuit breakers on my eBay listings. Alright, extractor it. Boy, the card quality is so nice. Lunar Force. Ah, oh, gorgeous. I tell you what. This 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 product did not get Oath of Lily. Look at her. This product did not get open much, and it did not get appreciated the way I thought it always should have. Because remember, there was also like uh, mapping issues where people could map some of the mythics, and that really hurt the sales too at the beginning. The old curious, advanced stitch, savage alliance, and of course, oh, Korea, ah, the grim flare. There he is. Excellent, excellent. I think even to this day, he's got some value. It's not a flip card, I don't think. No, uh, very cool mythic number one there. I don't know. I don't know why Eldritch Moon didn't do that well. Maybe on the backs of uh, Shadows, because the uh, Eldritch Moon was a small set. How many cards? Oh, 205? I thought it was like 180. Um, it just didn't sell good. I don't know if it was just because Shadows and Innistrad was such a big thing. Ah, uh, the Infiltrator. Terrible, terrible rare, ladies and gentlemen. And we do have... I always forget the foiling is so different here. We got the Field Creeper. Loved the, I like the whole... I don't know. The scary type of feel. or I don't know. I like the feel of that whole... Uh, look at this. Advertising Kaladesh. Coming soon! Boy, doesn't that bring back memories, everybody? Isn't that crazy? Alright. Crop Sigil, Mourn Willow, and Rise. Oh, sorry. And there it is. Providence. Not the greatest of the rares in the set, everybody. So, yeah. Laying that out there. Alright. And next up we have... Dun, dun, dun. And boy. That's why I said it was very strange how this... There's the top half of a uh, graph... For, yeah. Isn't that crazy looking? How that can, you can build those double... I thought that was the coolest thing back then. <laughs> the News Constrictor, the Herald, Creepy, and Stromkirk Oculus. Cool artwork and not really worth a whole lot over there. Um, yeah, so obviously the cards we're looking for, everybody, are going to be cards like uh, Lily, obviously, Emrakul. I think... I remember Emrakul's banned pretty quickly after... Like, even after release. Mirrorwing Dragon! Okay, I actually remember this one. Uh, there was attempted speculation and deck building around that mythic. Didn't really uh, hold up very well. Incinery Flow, very, very good uncommon foil from this uh, back in that time. 
Um, I remember, I'm trying to remember Mirror Wing Dragon. That sounds like, wasn't there a big combo with that or it spiked? What was that? Blessed Alliance, one of the best uncommons in the set. Very strong back in the day. I remember that. I know, not really anything today. Emrakul's Evangel. <laughs> Love the artwork. Terrible card. <laughs> Just all I and we got ourselves a Foil Abundant Maul. The foiling is so subtle. Like, it feels so, like, barely foiled out after all this time. It's very strange how after all this time, like, I don't know. Some sets, the foiling just looks and feels stronger. In other sets, the foiling just seems very weak. I don't know. It's, maybe it's just me, the way the light hits it. And we got the old Wanderer Spirits. Not Boy, we're not getting a lot of the, really a lot of the home run actual cards here, are we? Oh, my goodness. Did you guys even notice this? Did you guys notice some of the foils over here? Oh my goodness, look at the curl. Right out of the pack. Is this one, how come that one's not curling? But this one is, but this, wow, that's crazy. Right out of the pack, look at that. But these aren't. Why the heck are some of these curled? That's super weird. Okay, because they were on top of the box maybe? I'm gonna keep an eye on that. All right, and Spirit of the Hunt. Eh, boy, we are, there's a lot of good actual rares and mythics in the set, and we are just not getting lucky right now. Um, not really sure what the deal is with that. Um, yeah, Vexing, Give No Ground, Prying Questions, and Imprisoned in the Moon. Love the art on this. This was always a cool thing you could see. Oh, look at that. Was that Tamiyo, Nissa, and uh, with em Battling Emrakul there or something? That, that's so cool. A little, bit of a, a little bit of lore story for those of you out there who are into that kind of thing. I feel like not many people really follow story or lore anymore ever since it became kind of blah. Bruna! Fading Light. Obviously, Gazelle is the other one you want. There's the bottom part of the, the giant card. I feel like there's always, every time I do these videos, there's somebody out there. Oh my goodness, Harmless Offering. Oh my goodness, I remember this card. This was just, when, people, when that card was spoiled, everybody loved it. It was such, I don't know, it was just such a moment that people loved. I don't even know how to explain it. Grizzled Angler, Tarsha the Human, and rawr, turns into the crazy fish, Eldrazi fish, I guess. Kind of crazy, huh? And it's so weird how there's four uncommons like that. So weird. Soul Separator, not a great one there. Anywho, but yeah, it was just, uh, <laughs> so this was, what year was this? This was before Battle for Zendikar, right? 2016? But after Cons of Tarkir? Crap, I can't remember. Oh, I love that artwork. Look at her. Dude, look at that red dress. That's epic, man. Gnarl Dread and Oath of Lily for the double tap. A nice little uh, duplication action there. Yeah, this feels weird. Like, it's going to be crazy to get open the uh, the non-pre-release type um, non-made in USA box, or the USA box after this one. Ah, uh, the Bedlam Reveler. This was a hot card back in the day. Man, did that thing sell. I remember that was one of the hot ones. People were playing that bad boy like crazy back in 2016. I gotta stop bringing back memories, everyone. Oh, okay, I guess I skipped some uncommons, but okay. Right to the mythic. Uh, Yulrich, Ulrich over here turns into the crazy vampire. See, I love that. I still think the split cards are cool, everybody. Um, super weird. Oh, I just dropped some pen. These things are so slippery. What's the deal with that? Like, you guys see this pack? Can someone explain to me this pack? Like, what the heck is the deal with this pack? Okay, so we had a mythic... So we had a mythic, and then we have three more, and then a second, like, tell me someone's aware of how bizarre this pack is. Like, what the heck? Like, that was not a normal pack. We had a mythic, more uncommons than another rare. Like, these packs are just completely weird. Three uncommons. So we have four uncommons? Is every pack supposed to have four uncommons in a priest? Like, I feel like this is not normal. I'm starting to realize this. I was like, wait a minute. We're like nine minutes in the video. And I'm starting to realize that... Wait, okay, here. Look, look at this. Look at this. Did I skip uncommons? So we've got a flip rare immediately. And then we've got uncommon, uncommon, uncommon. And then another rare. That's... I'm so confused. I don't remember. It's been so long on this. I cannot remember this product. This is crazy. Like, super weird, everybody. Uncommon, uncommon... Three uncommons, identity thief, and then the land, and then oh, foil rare, okay, and we got the eh, observer foil rare, not the not the greatest, just super super weird, everybody. <sighs> I don't know. I feel like this is just something up with this box. This is kind of weird. Like we're getting X one two three, and then Providence as a duplicate. This is a strange box, everybody. 
And hang on, I dropped. I dropped. Some of those, these things slid off. They're so slippery. Um, but yeah, no, there's something off. Like, this thing, just, it just feels flipping strange. One, two, three. Okay, so now we're back to normal. Three rares, and then the devils. Okay, that's, okay, that's awkward, but okay, no big deal. No big deal at all. All right, let's see what we got here. And Prowler, Behemoth, Geist. And, okay, there's another one. So now we got one, two, three. We're back to four. Oh! Four uncommons. Maybe because one of them's a flip. So when you get a flip card, that's your fourth uncommon. Look at that, baby. There she is, ladies and gentlemen. Pack fresh. Liliana, the last hope. Mythic number four. Absolutely awesome home run. Dude, this box is turning out spicy, man. If we had an Emrakul, man, this is going to be it. This is... Could def okay, here's another one. So we got four uncommons. And then... Okay, so one of them's a flip. So you get when you get the fourth uncommon, it's a flip card. Selfless Spirit. Oh, my God. I forgot about this card. Such a big deal, man, back in Standard. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, this was... I remember this was the set I did a... Whoa, okay, wait a minute. What is going on with this pack? So this pack, we've got uncommon flip card... Rare flip card. Oh, I love that card. I remember this. Dude, that chick was creepy, but I totally wanted to take her to Starbucks. And she turns into even a crazier chick, but it's all right. So now we're back to uncommons. Three more uncommons. Back to another rare. And now we're back to another... Then we got the foil on the back. Oh my goodness. Isn't that crazy? Like, the ordering of these packs are just mind-boggling. Like, this is like... It's confusing. It's been so long. So one, two... Three, four uncommons, collective defiance. Boy, do I remember that one. That was all those collect. What was the black one? Collective brutality, right? Man, remember that thing like spiked to like ten, twenty dollars. That was a hot card back in the day, everybody. One, two, three. So three. We're back to the same rare. Imprisoned in the moon. Grapple with the past. Not too bad. Nice little foil common there. So, well, this is going to be about it for box one here. But man, what a wacky ride. It's going to be interesting to see if the normal box after this. Is going to be just as wacky. One, two, three. Dark Salvation. Old Lily looking awesome. All right, so we're down to the last couple packs, ladies and gentlemen. Definitely a very, very strange video today. Shows how long it's been since I've actually opened Eldritch Moon. All right, so Uncommon, 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 Collective Brutality, Fantastic Rare, and now we're... Oh, and a Foil Flip Rare. And look at that, looking stunning, evil, crazy, Eldrazi vampire hot chick. So I said, yeah, I, <laughs> I enjoyed Eldritch Moon, everybody. Like, back in that, this was a really enjoyable time in Magic for me. One uncommon, two, three, four uncommons. Eh, Thalia's Lancers, eh. So where are we at? We got a couple packs left. I'm actually kind of excited now to go to box two, since we've already hit so many cards in this one. Well, the only thing we really missed was what? Just Emrakul. One, two, three. Uh, deploy the Gate Watch for Mythic number five. Eh, not the greatest. We still have some packs left, but not the greatest. This was, that's right. This was with the old Oath of the Gate Watch. Not really a, a great time in Magic's history there. One, two, three, four. Eldritch Evolution. Now, that was a... You, oh, my God. This was a hot card at the beginning. So much speculation and people bidding that thing up. Foil Forced. That was... I remember a, people talking about buying like a thousand copies of that and putting their life savings in it because they were so... They believed it was going to be such a big thing. Uh, oh, God. This was the coolest artwork. The whole thing. And it turns into this giant monster in like a town. Eldrazi. That was so cool. I love that. Another Uncommon. Back to Uncommon. Uncommon. And it, God, these pack orders are driving me crazy. Another Mythic. This was... Wow, really? Six Mythic opening. The boar. This was a cool card back. I remember the Eldrazi boar being kind of cool. I, I don't, Man, I really... This was really good product. Well, don't go out and, like, bid up this product after this video, everybody. This was... Don't, don't raise the price. Ah, the prototype. Like, oh, my God. This was so cool. I forgot about this. I feel like everyone's going to watch this and be like, oh, my God. You get so many extra rares and mythics in this, and then, like, people are just going to... The price of Eldritch Moon is going to skyrocket now. All right. Three uncommons. We're back to the Observer. And, oh, look what we got here, ladies and gentlemen. We got the Reach Sanitarium with a foil rare. Very last pack of box one, everybody. 
Then we're going to go over to the non-pre-release original box, and we're going to see what the difference is. One, two, three, four uncommons, Noose Groff Mob, and that is it. What a ride! Holy crap! So box two of Eldritch. That was an insane box one. Six Mythics, multiple foil rares, all kinds of shenanigans. Holy smokes, what a, what a box one that was. All right, so now we're back to the original. This is the normal looking box. See, normal codes. The packs feel normal. Yep, the, they don't have the glossy feel. The cards are back to normal. So I'm really curious now. One, two, three. Okay, so we're back to normal. And wow, look at the coloring's even different. Evangical, and that is it. All right, hang on a second here. Let's see where this is gonna go now. And we're at one, two, Three and harmless offering and oh okay so we do have some extras again battlefront all right so we do still have extras so I guess you can still get the the extra on commons I guess is is that how this works one two three okay but see it feels back to normal you're rare so this is back to normal the extra uncommon is behind it oh my god that's so confusing oh my goodness like that is so difficult to understand so. They, this is more, so they sorted them differently, but you still get the extra uncommons. One, two, three. Then you get your assembled alphas. Then you get your extra fourth uncommon. It's afterwards. So they changed the order. Okay, but it's, I, get, I like that better. The, boy, that first one, that, that order was crazy. Dark Salvation, there's your extra. And then, so the extra is the flip card. The extra card can either be a common or uncommon. Or, I guess, rare? Whew. I know, I'm wrecking this video, everybody. I really didn't think it was going to be this complex. Definitely not what I expected. Way more, uh, I guess the whole fact that I wanted to do one of each version really kind of uh, threw it all. Hey, Thalia! Boy, I haven't seen you in a long time. Captive for the, the common. I can't remember, even my piles are getting messy. The jumping back and forth is a tough thing to, boy, it's tough to burn through packs when it shifts like that on you. And see, there you go again. Greet Sanitarium. Back to the common. Back to the foil rare condemned. Eh, it's not the greatest one. But so far, box two does not feel nearly as good as box one, ladies and gentlemen. And we got summary dismissal. And that is... Yeah, we're going to need a lily. We're going to need some sort of emerald. We're going to need something really spicy to just uh, get this closed off here. And soul, soul separator again. Love the werewolf cards, though. Absolutely love the werewolf cards. Yeah, I'm not feeling like we're going to... Box two doesn't feel nearly as good as box one. Maybe it's just too early. Permit the colors look better though. They look they look the colors feel more bold though. Definitely has a different vibe to it, I guess. Uh, I'm assuming so. So sorry everybody. Didn't know this was gonna be a tricky video on me, man. I was not prepared. Elder Deep Fiend! Oh my god. You may remember this? Oh, the Eldrazi Octopus. I completely forgot about how Oh, the garrison. This was the other one to the town. Where it oh, it's the bottom part of the card. So, this, yeah, you can still get, so a lot of packs still have multiple rares, or you can get more than one rare, more than one mythic. And the Wrath, there's, there she is, very angry for mythic. Oh, mythic number one. And a foil abandoned reason. Oh, that's only one mythic? Really? Oh, I thought it was, that was like our second or third. I guess it's super confusing, everybody. Wow. Lily! <laughs> Oh, double tap Lily. You gotta be kidding me. Oh my god, we did it. You can't ask for a better opening than that. The fact that we just hit two Lilies in this video. Absolutely a spell. Oh my god, I forgot about this card. Oh my god, did people hate this card. Spell Squeller. Oh my god. Well, you know, looking back on this, I guess I really do understand why the price is so high. Honestly. Like in the devils, with this is a, I don't, I got, I just forgot. It's been so many years since I've opened or looked at these. I guess I just truly forgot how good of a fun product it is. The aid, another tangle werewolf, and and of course the new knockoff. Everybody know what this is the knockoff of the um, uh, the bug crap. What was it? Oh my god! Tell me in the comment section what was that? The bug. Oh god, what was that from the original Innistrad? Oh, I forgot what it was called. Oh, whatever. It was like a huge thing in original Innistrad. It was like the best common in the set. Uh, and the boar again. Okay. So we're getting some duplicate on the good rares. So two lilies, two boars, uh, and a spell squiller. God, Lee. I forgot about so many of these good cards in this little set. And Oculus. I love that hairstyle on there. That is so cool. 
Um, anyways, we are in the home stretch here, ladies and gentlemen. We're the second half of box two. And uh, boy, what a ride it's been, everybody. And the frost, yeah, extinct extractor of sin in a haunted dead. Creepy looking chick right there. And um, I'm just hoping to see an Emrakul. That's really the only really high end card we're missing today, everybody. And Oath of Liliana, that's the third time we've pulled the Oath of Lily. I'd really love to see one Emrakul. That would really just be the icing on the cake. Or a good foil rare or mythic. That would be epic. Ah, the Condemned. God, the artwork on this was really something else. I feel like the only... I don't even know if Wizards would do the... Look at this. Look at this. Look at her. Look at that chick. Like, I don't even know if Wizards would do this artwork again. Like, I'm starting to think even this artwork is like, is like taboo now. Like, are they even willing to do this anymore? And Blood Hall Priest. Look at her. That's a cool outfit. Like, with the change and everything going on, I just don't know what's considered, like, you know, not allowed or allowed. Like, things have changed so much. Boom! Tamio coming through! I always thought Tamio was really an underappreciated mythic. Like, I just never felt she got the attention she deserved. I always liked Tamio. It just reminded me of some sort of, like, Fifth Element Star Wars looking chick. I don't know. She always just seemed really cool to me. Just my personal thing. And we got Crypt Breaker. Very, very popular rare back in the day, man. I, don't, I gotta check. I know some of these cards still hold some value. I know the big money's in, like, Lily and, of course, Emrakul, but I don't know if some of these other things that were really big back in the day, they still hold any value or not. I just don't... Oh! Oh! Oh, we're coming through! Oh! Mythic again! Mythic number five! We are at a 11 Mythic video, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, my goodness! Stunning! Identity Thief coming through. Wow! And a Spirited... Oh, wait, I'm sorry. Spear Gauge Ritual, I think it's pronounced? Can't even pronounce that good. Wow. You know, I, I feel like this is, this video alone is going to move the price on Eldritch Moon. I hope not, because this is just... It, it's just an under... God, what a... God, I can't believe this is, like, nostalgic for me. It just shows that nostalgia is such a relative term to how it impacts you. We're getting the same mythics. Look at that. The Mirror Dragon. We're getting literally the same, what, three, five, six... So what's different? Just Tamio and one... So only one Mythic is different, I guess? Maybe... Oh my goodness. Unbelievable. Providence again. Wow, what a... I know we only got a couple packs left, but what an awesome video. Thanks for watching, everybody. Really appreciate it. What, a, what an absolute fun experience today, because trust me, we, this is not going to be a set we're going to... Don't expect to see another Eldritch Moon opening for, honestly, years. Absolutely, we're, we're not going to be doing the price of this, the rarity, collective effort. Very cool. All those collective cards are really neat. Any of those cards would like escalate in choice. I always thought were really cool. The fact you could choose depending on like the, the board state. I always thought choice was a powerful thing in magic like that. And the, the prototype. That poor soul who bought all those all from me. And that never did anything. All right, everybody. Last couple packs here. Still hoping for an Emrakul or something really crazy, like a really wild rare in the close. And mind bender. Really want to see some. Oh, another percent. Dolls into perfection. All right. Last three packs, everybody. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Into the close. We got Spirit of the Hunt. And nothing. Come on. Emrakul. $40 Emrakul. Or, or a foil. A foil one would be cool, too. You know, a foil one would be cool, too. And Eldritch Evolution for the double tap. Very nice. The, the Howler. And a foil rare again. For the garrison. Okay. And this is it. Last pack, everybody. Thanks for tuning in. Hope you guys relaxed. Enjoyed the video. Collective Defiance. And a nice desperate sentry foil common. Appreciate everything. Be safe out there. Be nice to everyone. I appreciate the honor and privilege to entertain everyone.